Have you ever been mystified about why a B player in your organization keeps getting promoted? Or why someone who always nails it doesn't? There could be a dozen reasons. But let me let you in on one that bosses rarely own up to when it comes to promotions. And it has to do with personality. Or more specifically, it has to do with the type of people who tend to have a real career advantage. I'm talking about happy extroverts. I first noticed this phenomenon 30 years ago when it became clear to me that it wasn't the smartest of my Harvard Business School classmates who got hired first. It was the most popular, the ones who were outgoing and friendly, warm, authentic, and highly verbal, the ones who planned beach picnics and tracked you down after class to compliment you on a good answer. For a wonk like myself, this was all kind of annoying. I remember calling home and moaning, Mom, I don't think my grades here actually count at all. Since then, I've watched the happy extrovert phenomenon play out in companies of every kind. And now, as a boss myself, I understand why. Organizations run so much better when teamwork is high and drama is low. Happy extroverts help make that happen. And happy extroverts who also over-deliver results, they're your favorite type of employee. Now, don't despair, introverts. Two of my own kids are your comrades, and they've done just fine professionally. How? Well, first, they perform at a high level. But they also make sure to tell everyone, bosses included, not to mistake their reserve for negativity. They're in the game. They just communicate differently. You have to say this kind of thing out loud. And also, remember to smile much more than you think you have to. People cannot read your mind, but they sure can read your face. But look, trust me on this. In the long game, talent almost always wins. So hang in there. If you're on the antisocial side, but you're good, really, really good, eventually organizations take notice. Until then, just know that your colleagues who are happy extroverts do have an edge, and it's real. Your boss may not tell you, but hey, that's what I'm here for.